So we are in the UK, a few days away from another lockdown for at least a month. So <clears throat> people are generally um, quite accepting, but there is a lot of uncertainty and a lot of unhappiness and a lot is quite unsettling. So I thought I'd share um, a um, something I heard from uh, I heard about from the Dalai Lama, but it's a Buddhist tradition called Tonglen meditation. I'm not actually going to do the, the meditation with you because it's quite a personal thing, but I am going to explain how it works. So um, Tonglen works by um, using the power of our thoughts and our power of our intention to um, bring about a change in, in mood and happiness. So um, we underestimate how strong um, the power of thought and intention is quite often. No one would doubt that it's blowing again outside and no one would doubt that the wind exists because they can't see it because they can see the effects. And our intentions and our thoughts are much the same. If I have a terrible day and I'm having terrible thoughts and terrible mood, that would have an impact on other people as well as myself. And um, in contrast, if I have a happy, amazing day, then that would have a knock-on effect. But it also has a knock-on effect on the wider, um, the, the sort of quantum level where we are all one. So, Tonglen is the great is a great antidote um, to it's the antithesis of unhappiness. Um, if you come into a seated pose. <clears throat> or comfortable posture. Um, I quite like cross-legged pose or a half lotus, whatever suits you. And maybe put your bottom on a cushion to keep your back straight. Um, and then you would close down your eyes. I'm not going to actually do it with you because, it, like, as I said, it's very personal. You would then close down your eyes and start concentrating on your breathing, focusing on the in-breaths and the out-breaths. You don't have to be great big deep gulps of air, in and out through the nose, but really focusing on the in and out breath. That's the first step. Step two, you would then start focusing on all the future things that, like woes that could happen in your life. So you imagine them, you imagine pain and anguish and trauma that could happen in your life. And then you, so you breathe in, all that pain, anguish, trauma, picture it, you breathe it into your heart, you imagine your heart dissolving it, and then you breathe it out, dissolved. You breathe out happiness and healing, and anything that you breathe into your heart that was bad, you imagine the opposite of that, and you breathe that out. You, know, you heal yourself, you heal the future you, and your future hurts, dissolve it in your breath and breathe it out. So that's the next step. The next step is then to imagine somebody um it could be a loved one or somebody that you feel close to that's suffering trauma at the moment um so like for me my mum's not very well um and she's quite confused and she's in hospital so i've been um breathing in her uh, pain and confusion into my heart dissolving it in my heart and with the out breath i imagine her being healed and happy and secure and safe so you do that, you breathe it in, the pain, the suffering, dissolve it, breathe out healing, health, happiness. But you, you choose who you have and you choose the healing that you breathe out. So you breathe in the pain of somebody and you dissolve it and then you breathe out happiness and, and healing. So that's the next step. The next step is that you take it you go further. So everybody that's in that situation in the world, so like for me it would be everybody that is elderly and confused and in hospital in this difficult time, breathe their pain and their suffering, their anguish in and their confusion, dissolve it in my heart and breathe out happiness and healing and contentment and then you, and you, and you let it go. You let that intention spread and you do that Breathe it in and then out. I would do each of these steps. I, I personally, because I spend about probably five to 10 minutes doing this every morning after Kundalini Yoga, 
So I would spend probably each step, I would do five or six times. And so then, yeah, once you have um, breathed out that the for the whole world, um, I would um, then just go back to regular breathing and really focus on the sensations in your body with your breath in and out. And I kind of at that stage usually set like an intention of gratitude, of, I'll concentrate maybe on the word gratitude or joy, something that has like a heightened emotion or heightened elevation of um, vibration for me, just to make sure that everything's gone and dissolved, all that nastiness basically out of my body. And I'll probably do that for about, again, five or six breaths. And then um, I'll just probably put my hands together in gasha or prayer pose and um, thank the universe for being so amazing and then get on with my day. But it's a great way, Tonglen meditation, to spread happiness.